So I want to add dungeons to my fantasy RPG pixel world. Dungeons will be one of the main destinations slash goals for players exploring because the world is infinite and randomly generated. Dungeons will allow me to narrow the player into arenas for boss fights, puzzles, and more contextual based quests and events. So what kind of dungeons are we making? For the first dungeon, I wanted to start with a forest dungeon, maybe a lush green one similar to the Lost Woods from Link to the Past. But in the future, I'd like to make underground caves and more classic cave-style dungeons. I decided for performance, these dungeons need to be in their own scenes and unity, so I created little dungeon entrances and exits that will randomly spawn in the world. And I also want there to be like a special boss room with a key to unlock it, but more on that later. So how do I actually generate these dungeons? My normal world gen algorithm uses noise maps to generate different tiles, but dungeons follow rules that have like negative space where the player can't actually walk into, and they usually have rooms and corridors between the rooms. Almost a year ago I followed this tutorial by Sunny Valley Studio, link in the description. I took their base algorithm and expanded on the idea. I made a diagram here to illustrate. Essentially, the algorithm starts at the origin, the very center, and it picks a random direction to generate a bunch of tiles in. And it saves all those tiles, and then it picks different directions and kind of just iterates on that approach until you have this sort of winding uh, corridors through where your dungeon will be generated upon. And then we actually build the rooms on top of those blue tiles we see here. Those are actually the centers of each room. And then we generate the rooms at those locations. And then the room generation works like so. It simply starts at that central blue tile and it picks a random direction to walk away from it. And it just keeps expanding on them in random directions until you get this nice blobby room. And those will have overlaps and it'll give it a really nice look. That's mostly it. From there I use a simple function to find neighbors of our base dungeon to make it bigger, kind of fill in the holes and gaps. Then I add walls that are also neighbors to the base dungeon because that is just the base floor for the dungeon. And then from there I use kind of like the walls and some tiles inside and around it to make a nice leaf vignette to add more depth and feel to this like nice foresty scene. The dungeon's built but there's nothing inside of it so let's put stuff in the dungeon. Once a dungeon is placed, we will randomly place scenery items around it, focusing more on the edges with like trees and such. I place aggressive mob groups in the center of rooms. All the mobs in dungeons are aggressive, kind of why it's a dungeon. You're in their territory, so they're going to go after you. Now, from here, we need a boss room. But wait! <laughs> I decided, because in the future, I'd like a, to add big contemplative quest bosses that'll be in these boss rooms. I always want these boss rooms to be north of the player, so that these big god-type bosses are always facing downwards, facing towards the camera naturally in this top-down perspective. It makes sense. So I had to grab all of the room centers that we saw before, and I needed to find the one that is the highest up, the highest Y value, northernmost, and extend a giant corridor northwards from it. Then I created a special big room, or the boss room, for the boss fight. And I spawned the boss in there, naturally. <laughs> now, I wanted to add something special to the dungeon, something more puzzly. And I have this massive corridor, so I was thinking, like in a Zelda dungeon, you have a door blocking the boss room, and we have a key system. But you might say space fudge. What is a door and a key doing in a forest? That would be really weird. You're right. <laughs> so I thought of creating this brambly vine door that can only be unlocked by destroying its thorny vine heart. And this would encourage the player to go explore the dungeon, and you need to find that vine heart before actually progressing onto the boss room. All right, that's dungeons done, right? Well, actually, after adding dungeon entrances, exits, and a campfire spawn point, I started to realize there needs to be a bigger incentive for fighting bosses right now. I added a new item called Life Spore. You get those from dungeon mini bosses. Currently, there's only mini bosses because I haven't added real boss fights coming soon. Next update, I'll have real boss fights, but 
Uh, the life spore, when consumed, will level you up instantly, similar to like a rare candy from Pokemon. Or you can sell it to a merchant for some good coin. Once dungeons were fully set up, I needed to do some more boring stuff, some scene management here and there, and added a new loading screen, because I realized it takes like a whole minute to load these dungeons. And when I realized that, because of the Unity tile map lag, and obviously, you know, I played Skyrim in my day, it takes two minutes to load into a castle, I'm not about it, so I worked on some tile uh, in performance improvements, so I've got this down to like 10 seconds, and presto, baby, you got yourself this whole update. So from here, be sure to try out the new update on Steam for the first time ever. Yes, the demo is up on Steam. Go download it. Wishlist this game. I would really appreciate it. Or download it on itch.io. As always, follow me on Twitter, Insta, hop in Discord if you find any bugs or just want to chat. Thanks for watching. Peace out.